we are studying physics subject theory course and we have two teachers Shobana Isaac from NYU Raf from Brown University ramp is 45 degree okay and then there is a force of 10 Newton all right applied uh, force of applied force 10 Newton is acting on this uh, box you're gonna find the acceleration okay first of all I'm going to rotate my reference frame 45 degrees so that the inclined plane looks horizontal kind of like this so this is our 45 degree angle and then you'll realize once you start thinking in, in these coordinates that gravity is going to face this direction. One second. Sorry. Yeah. Meanwhile, the applied force is going to face this direction. Notice that they're exactly perpendicular to the sides of the inclined plane. So this is F applied. Now what we're going to do is we're going to split them into their components. Now since these are at 45 degrees, we can confidently say that their components are just their full length times rad 2 over 2. So Fa in this case is 10 newtons, so we can let this be 5 root 2, and we can respectively let this also be 5 rad 2. Meanwhile. We have Fg, uh, so Fg equals Mg, so that's going to be 5 times, we can assume it's 10. Actually, uh, the acceleration due to gravity doesn't matter for this, because it turns out that it cancels out in the end, and you still get the same answer no matter what. So you have Fg equals Mg equals 5 times 10 equals 50 newtons, so that gets split between... 25 rad 2, so this is 25 rad 2, and this is also 25 rad 2. Now, the big thing that you have to realize here is friction. That's what slipped everyone, including me, up when I first looked at this. Him too. So, uh, the thing is that actually, you'll notice that once you add the 5 root 2 and 25 root 2 together, there is a total 30 root 2 force being exerted downwards. So Fn is going to have to compensate for that by also being 30 root 2. So that's pretty big. That means that Ff, you forgot to mention that mu k equals 0 0.5, by the way. I did. Really? Yes, I did forget. Uh, oh, you did forget, not you did mention. All right. So FF is then 0.5 times 30 root 2, so it's 15 root 2 newtons. But what's more crucial is the direction in which it is facing. So you would think normally, well, it's got to be facing oppositely applied force, because that's what you think in these kinds of problems. That's what immediately comes to your head. Because normally, the applied force is large enough to actually fend off gravity. But here, the applied force is 5 root 2 in this direction, and gravity is five times that amount in the opposite direction. So, that means that FF will actually be facing opposite gravity. You can stop nodding at me really fast. You don't have to give me the answer when I know you can do it yourself. So, that's 15 rad 2. That still doesn't make it enough to push it up the ramp, but uh, that helps us. So, that means that... And this is going to be 15 root 2 plus 5 root 2 minus 25 root 2, which should be 5 root 2. And since minus this... Minus 5. Minus 5. Wow, got something right for once. Thank you for catching my intentional mistake. And then, since m is 5, we get that a is root 2 meters per second. You, you don't call my approach bogus. When I'm right there next to you. Okay. So uh, here, <coughs> here's our inclined plane, 45 degrees. Here is our box, 5 kilograms. And here is our applied force. Our applied force is horizontal and it's uh, 10, 10 newtons. Um, um, you, you can speak to 0.50, sorry. 0.5, okay. So, mu k is 0.5 okay 
So great. So uh, let's decompose the forces. So first of all, F G parallel acts down as always. Uh, let's decompose the applied force into the Y and X components. Okay. And finally, uh, which way does friction act? Well, um, surprisingly, friction acts in the same direction as the applied force. I'll explain how you can uh, figure that out uh, shortly. Which way it is accelerating? It's accelerating down. So, so the friction is opposite to the acceleration. That makes sense. Well, why it is difficult? Yeah, no, it's difficult because uh, you don't know that it'll be accelerating down before okay. you see how big the forces are. Initially, I made the friction this direction. That's a mistake. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's write down Newton's second law. So the net force in the x direction is uh, let's let's choose this to be our positive since the box is accelerating that way. Or actually, let's make this our positive so that down the ramp is a negative acceleration. So then, uh, what are our forces? So friction acts in the positive direction. Force of friction. Uh, the applied force also acts in the positive direction, F A X, and gravity acts in the negative direction, so minus F G parallel. And now we can just plug everything in. So the net force is always M A. Friction is mu F N. What is F N? Well, F N here is gonna be bigger than it usually is. This is F N normally. F N normally is M G. Uh, cosine theta, but here it's going to be bigger because uh, one component of our applied force is pushing down on the box. So we're going to have mu fn, fn is mg cosine theta, plus the extra force we apply to the box, right? Fay. Okay, what is Fay? Fay is Fa sine theta. Okay. Uh, uh, let me erase this. Okay, plus F A X, so plus F A cosine theta minus F G parallel minus M G sine theta. Now we can plug everything in. So uh, M is five. Okay, mu is zero point five. Uh, actually, it'll be math will be easier if I just write half. M is five. G is ten. Uh, theta is 45, cosine of 45 is 1 over square root of 2. Uh, Fa is 10, sine of 45 is 1 over square root of 2. Okay, plus Fa is 10, cosine of 45 is 1 over square root of 2. Minus uh, M is 5, G is 10, sine of 45 is 1 over square root of 2. Now let's do the math, okay, you don't need a calculator. So let's see, so 1 over 2. Okay, 5 times 10 is 50, so 50 over square root of 2, plus 10 over square root of 2, okay, plus 10 over square root of 2, uh, minus 50 over square root of 2. Okay, I'm going to bring it to the, to the top here, so we can uh, finish the math. Okay, all of this is equal to 5 times the acceleration. So let's see, inside the parentheses we have 5ax is equal to 1 half 60 over square root of 2. 60 is because 50 plus 10 mm -hmm. uh, plus 10 over square root of 2 minus 50 over square root of 2. Okay, so let's see, uh, half of 60 is 30 plus 10 root 2 minus 50 root 2. Okay, 30 plus 10 is 40, minus 50 is 10, okay, and so now all we have to do is solve for the acceleration, the acceleration is minus 2 over square root of 2, and uh, let's, uh, let's rationalize this one, okay, so this will give you minus 2 rad 2 over 2, minus rad 2 meters per second squared. So the minus sign means that 
and the box is <coughs> accelerating downward. Which method did you like? Let us know in the comments. Which method did you like? Let us know in the comment section.